State Hermitage is one of the largest museums in the world. Its exhibitions include over 3 million exhibits representing antiquity, Western Europe, Middle East, Russia and many more epochs, countries and regions. Its foundation dates back to 1764, when Catherine the Great purchased a big collection of Western European paintings. The museum consists of five buildings located in the historical center of St. Petersburg on the Nevi Embankment. The Winter Palace was built in 1754 to 1762 by Francesco Bartolomeo Rustrelli. In 1764-75, at the order of Catherine the Great, small hermitage was erected by Jean-Baptiste Valen de Lamotte and Yuri Felton. In 1771-87, Yuri Felton built the Great Hermitage. In 1783-87, based on Giacomo Quarenghi designs, the Hermitage Theatre was built. To complete the ensemble, in 1842-51 Leo von Klenze built the new Hermitage for the Emperor Museum. The collections of the museum have been growing for two and a half centuries, and now include 17,000 paintings and 600,000 graphic works, over 12,000 sculptures and 300,000 works of craft, 700,000 archaeological and 1 million numismatic findings. In the state hermitage you can see masterpieces of Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Titiana, Rembrandt, Rubens, Matisse, and Picasso. The museum also hosts the world's best collection of Holland Baroque, French paintings of 19th and 20th centuries, Western European decorative art collection, a unique gold of the science exhibition, and ancient Greek jewelry. Sprawling across the connected buildings of the Winter Palace, the small hermitage and the old hermitage, this vast, chaotic and incredibly rich collection is unquestionably the biggest draw for visitors to St. Petersburg. Founded by Catherine the Great, who bought up artwork en masse from European aristocrats, embellished by each of her successors, and then massively enriched by Bolshevik confiscations and Red Army seizures and conquered Germany, the hermitage collection is incredibly varied, ranging from ancient Siberian artifacts to post-impressionist masterpieces by Matisse and Picasso. Equally impressive are the lavishly decorated state rooms of the Winter Palace, testament to the incredible wealth and extravagant tastes of the Romanov Tsars. The Hermitage's collection of Western European art is one of the finest in the world, containing masterpieces from all the major centers of artistic development in Europe from the 13th to the 19th centuries. Based on the collections bought up by Catherine the Great to fill the walls of the small and great hermitages, it has been expanded over the years through further imperial purchases, Bolshevik confiscation of private collections, and appropriation of artwork in conquered Germany. Located on the first floor of the old hermitage, this often ignored section of the museum deserves greater attention, not least because it is housed in some of the most beautifully decorated rooms in the hermitage. Covering 31 halls, the antiquities collection includes Assyrian, Mesopotamian, and Egyptian artifacts, as well as huge quantities of Greek and Roman statuary. Admittedly, many of the statues, such as those included in the gorgeous, green marble Jupiter Hall, are more decorative than historically significant, many of them being Roman copies of Greek originals. Among the highlights of the antiquities collection are the superb collection of Attic vases, with their distinctive black and red pictorial designs, and Catherine the Great's splendid Soviet archaeologists, and are fascinating for the picture they give of this outpost of ancient civilization, where Greek and Roman influences mixed with local barbarian and Scythian traditions. The collection covers the period from the 6th century BC to the 4th century AD, and highlights include a rare collection of heavily ornamented wooden sarcophagi from 4th-3rd centuries BC, and the contents of several burial mounds from the same period. 